Yesterday, we began a six-part series on overcoming problems. We learned that the first thing we need to do is not concern ourselves with that of the wicked. Satan would love to draw our attention away from God and focus them on the world. Therefore, we are instructed to fret not. Today, we will look at step two in the six steps to overcoming problems, which is to trust in the Lord. We read in Psalm chapter 37, verse 3, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Trusting in the Lord and doing good is not saying, I trust in God and then doing what we wish. It is also not doing the right thing, but trusting in ourselves and our own righteousness. Having complete trust is submitting to a total reliance on God, His favor, His providence, His promise, and His grace. Complete trust is our unwavering faith that He alone will provide and take care of our every need. If we do these things, then the Lord will provide for us in this world and we will not lack for anything. There is something to keep in mind as we discuss this step. A lack of trust that the Lord will provide is the root cause of worrying. Because if we have put our complete trust in the Lord, then we have nothing to be concerned about, nothing to worry about. When we take our eyes off the Lord, then we lose trust. Just as Peter took his eyes off Jesus in Matthew chapter 14, verses 29 through 31. The disciples were on a ship at night, and Jesus came to them walking on the water. Peter wanted to be with him on the water, so Jesus bid him to come. As Peter walked on the water toward Jesus, he saw the winds were strong. Taking his eyes off Jesus, or losing trust, he began to sink. Many times we as believers in Jesus do the same thing. Instead of keeping our eyes on the Lord, we focus our attention on other things and we begin to worry. The last part of the verse describes the reward for trusting in the Lord. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. If we put our complete faith and trust in the Lord, He will take care of our needs. In summary, we are instructed to put our complete trust in the Lord, and He alone will take care and provide for us. Let's take a moment to pray. I thank you, Lord, that I have a Father that I can trust and not have to worry about anything. I pray for the ones listening that they would put their trust in you and you alone. These things I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today. Tomorrow, we will continue our study of Psalm chapter 37 with the third step in overcoming problems. Until then, I pray you have a great day.